The year began amidst plans for a smaller military with personnel and budget cuts planned for all the services. Reduced funding ended the Air Force SR-71 Reconnaissance Aircraft Program on Kadena Air Base, and the Blackbird, or locally named Habu, took to the skies from Kadena for its last time in January. Early retirements and separations, as well as a civilian hiring freeze, took effect in an effort to save money, and transition assistance programs were formed so that service members could learn how to face these changes. Several high-ranking officials were to visit in the coming months. Secretary of Defense Dick Cheney arrived on Okinawa in February while on a tour of the Pacific to reassess military roles in the area, and he predicted a 10 to 12 percent decrease in troops over the next three years. General Merrill McPeak, then Commander-in-Chief of the Pacific Air Force, also stopped by in February. The Secretary of the Army, the Honorable Michael P. W. Stone, visited in March, and the Commandant of the Marine Corps, General Al Gray, came by in April and October. All addressed the issue of troop reductions and training. All of the senior leadership agree that we will continue to, to put our highest priority on people. That means that our people and the training, their readiness, the quality of life, the compensation issues and so on will not be sacrificed. We've been working with the Congress to understand that there's a human cost involved with some of these policies if they make us do some things which we think are just uh, not smart things to do. I think in Okinawa as, as elsewhere throughout the Corps, we will continue to make refinements and we'll continue to make changes. Uh, the fundamental mission of the Marines around the world doesn't change in that we have to be uh, the nation's expeditionary force and preparedness. Budget reductions aside, new facilities added to the quality of life for many on island. A new four-bay jet engine test cell cut noise pollution considerably for Kadena and surrounding communities and uses air instead of water for cooling. Camp Kinzer's growing number of families saw the opening of a new commissary there and the Kinzer restaurant. The largest exchange in the Pacific opened last summer on Camp Foster, and students got some room to grow with a new middle school on Kadena Air Base. Extra room for the growing number of little ones could be found at the new Camp Courtney Child Care Center, and families began moving into the new Camp McTurious housing in September, although elevated lead levels were a cause of concern for some. We determined that the water supply on island is well within standards and that uh, the elevated lead was coming from new fixtures that are also, by the way, within uh, EPA standards. Talk of a smaller military was on the minds of many during the first part of 1990. Soon other events took precedence. A devastating earthquake struck the Philippines on July 16th, measuring 7.7 .7 on the Richter scale and killing over 1,000 people. The 603rd Airlift Control Squadron helped with airlifts of donations, and other military units came to the aid of the Filipino people. Okinawan citizens encircled Kadena Air Base in a peaceful demonstration for world peace August 5th, while only three days before, on August 2nd, Iraq invaded Kuwait and set off a chain of events that would soon affect people around the world. Marine and CB units were among the first to leave Okinawa in September for the Persian Gulf, followed by the 376th Strategic Wing in November. You can sense the, uh, the uh, concern about the, you know, the husband leaving, the spouse leaving, uh, their loved ones behind. It's a very emotional time. They're very anxious. Uh, they're uh, looking toward a, uh, a difficult job, but one that they have been trained to do and are uh, very much ready to do. The USO offered support groups for the spouses left behind here, and CB and Marine Reservists began arriving to bolster operations. Gas prices increased from $1.03 to $1.62 a gallon in October. Stop-loss measures and involuntary on-island extensions were all directly attributed to events in the Middle East and felt by many here. While major changes went on around the world, Okinawan citizens made changes of their own and elected a new governor in November. Professor Masahida Ota promised to work with the American forces here, although the issue of land returns is a priority. Uh, there is a saying that the, if Ota gets elected, uh, he would be uh, strongly opposed to the, everything U.S. forces uh, would do, but this is nonsense. I, mean, I was educated in the United States, so I owe, my I owe a lot to the U.S. Uh, people and U.S. government. From troop reductions to the possibility of war in the Middle East, 1990 saw the beginning of events that will no doubt live on in history here and abroad.